Now, she was one of the bookies' favourites in this year's series of American Idol, and even Simon Cowell thought that she would go all the way. But Ireland's favourite idol was voted off the top-rated show, coming in sixth place. Lisa caught up with Carly Smithson over the weekend. This is American Idol. Well, what better way to get a break from the expose offices than to do lunch with Carly Smithson. Hi, Carly. Hi. How are you? I'm great. We're here in La Mer Zoo. We're having lunch. It's been five weeks since you finished the competition. No, I can't forget this evening or your face as you... It feels like one. It really does. It, um... It, it's just a crazy whirlwind and then you know obviously we went back for the finale and then on Tuesday I fly home to uh, start rehearsals for the tour. Now you were kicked off Idol but everybody's saying you're still a winner you know did you feel that when you left you're like oh god or were you still happy? I actually I believe it was a really good time for me um, I think it's good to go out as a shock elimination rather than oh it was her time <laughs> um, and people the support after you leave because obviously you're, you're like do people not like me and after you leave they definitely reassure you the fan the difficult part now because we now have a direct comparison could you pull it off on the night and I don't think you did and do you still think of Simon Cowell as a real nasty ass no, I actually really like Simon. Sometimes his words weren't as encouraging as, uh, as they could have been. And um, he, I think he had my best intentions at heart. And I actually spoke to him on, um, on one of the elimination nights. He's like, no, I actually really like you. And I'm just trying to push you, you know, to do your best. He's like, I've kind of set a higher goal for you than the other contestants. And uh, he's like, it's because I truly believe that you can do better. And I, uh, I kind of think I misunderstood his comments for a little while, and then we became friends. Everybody, everybody knows a lot about you, but you are married since you were 20 years of age. I was talking to your mom, and I was like, God, that's very young. I know. I actually, I met him when I was 17, and uh, I just kind of, I always knew that, you know, we would pretty much end up together. He has many tattoos just like yourself, but if you can share everybody your, your engagement my, ring. My little wedding ring. Which I love, you can make the diamond as big or small as you well, want. Well, his is huge, it's like his whole hand. But uh, isn't he, he's very shy, he's a very shy guy. But uh, he's lovely and he definitely looks after me. Now Carly, obviously you've you know, been admired by many great celebrities and you obviously want to do and be very successful like them too. So who's giving you the best compliment? After, after Idol is over, um, the show, all of the people that come, all the little kids and stuff, they all go outside and there's like a, a fenced off area where we all sign pictures and take pictures with the fans and get to meet them and they're so cute. Some of these kids like fly from across America with their parents and come to see the show but I walk outside and all I can hear from the corner is like, Carly! Carly! I love you! And I like turn around, it's Terry Hatcher from Dance Real Housewives. <laughs> I was like, huh? And she's like, can I get your autograph? I was like, why? <laughs> I just thought it was really weird. And she said she voted for me 60 times, like every night. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, Carly, thank you so much for, you know, having lunch. We haven't even eaten anything. We've I been, know. we've, we've been know. so nattering so much. But listen, best of luck with the tour. And I really hope to see you back in Dublin again soon, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. And that is all from Expose Tonight. Come up in tomorrow's show, Universal.